What is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create Infinity White Room in Blender. So basically what you want to do is you want to go into your world settings and these are the settings I used for this scene specifically. Uh, you want to add an HDRI. Um, I got one from Polyhaven. This is the exact one. I'll leave it in the description. I'll just use a 2K download and then you can add it in there. You want to add some hue saturation because it does end up giving a little bit of a tint. Um, so I just decreased, see how it's a lot bluer, I just decreased the saturation to zero, um, set my hue to half and then left the rest as is. Uh, and then depending on how bright you want it, uh, you can increase the strength. Two, I found work best for me. Um, and then you want to connect this to your world output. So if you don't know how to add any of these, you just press shift A and then you can search. So I just search hue, added that. Um, you can drag and drop your HDRI in from your desktop and then you want to press Control t to add your mapping and texture coordinates so to add your mapping and texture node you can just click on your hr that you add and press Control t and it should add them automatically so let's just connect to everything so for the floor to create that infinity look uh, you want to add a plane so we're going to press shift a and add a plane and scale that up I already have one so once that has been added you want to go into your object properties and make sure your shadow catcher is on if it is off you're going to see this this line at the back which is like the plane the difference between the plane and the the world environment so make sure your shadow catcher is on and i'll create that infinity curve then i just added a little bit of uh, contrast so i added in a lot um, as you can see without the light there isn't that much of a highlight on the right shoulder so I just added that in just to give a little bit of extra contrast. So to do that, we can just go to our front view. We can just go to our top view and press shift A, and then we're gonna go light and add a spotlight. Then you can just rotate it on the X and Y and Z axis to figure out what you want best, and then you should be good to go. You can change your light properties by going to your data, your object data properties when you select the light and just shift the power. You can also shift the color. Your radius uh, affects the amount of how harsh your shadows are. Um, and then your power is your power and your color is the hue of the light. That's just a quick run through of how to make an infinity backdrop in Blender. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and sub. And if you need any help, make sure to join the Discord. All the links will be provided below. I uh, really appreciate the support as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.